Welcome to Jay's How To Channel. I'm Jay and today I'm gonna to teach you how to test the water in your swimming pool. I have a six way test kit. I'll leave a link in the description on where to get this kit. So you wanna you wanna hold this upside down and go all the way up to your elbow and then flip it over so the water goes in. You want you wanna take the sample from you know, anywhere from 12 to 18 inches into the pool. Okay. Here we go. Just like that. Now you want to make sure that the water level is right at the mark on the top of the vial. Okay. Add five drops. And add five drops to this side. We're gonna cap this off and then we're gonna mix this. And now you can see we've got between two and three parts per million in the chlorine and 7.5 on the pH. Okay, and then I use these little test strips to check the rest of the chemicals. You guys can see I'm wearing an Octonation t-shirt. It's the largest octopus fan club in the world. If you like octopuses, you guys should consider subscribing. Check the link in the description. So you wanna dip it in, again, down to your elbow, hold it under the water for about two seconds, and then we wait 20 seconds for uh, the results to turn up. These test strips test for total hardness, chlorine levels, pH levels, total alkalinity, and stabilizer. The readings I have here are hardness is 240, chlorine is three parts per million, pH 7.5, alkalinity 110, and stabilizer is at 30. My chlorine's a little bit low and my stabilizer's a little bit low. I like to keep my chlorine between three and five parts per million. It really helps keep the algae away. I like this Pool Dash app. I'll leave a link in the description of where to find this app. And uh, I'm gonna make a video showing you guys how to uh, calculate the size of your pool in gallons uh, in the future. So here we've got chlorine, setting all these levels, uh, the pH 7.5, total alkalinity 110, yeah, calcium hardness, so what this app does is it'll calculate for you what amount of chemicals you need to add to your pool. Now, I buy my chlorine from my local pool store, and I buy the chemicals that I need from Amazon. So cyanuric acid, uh, that's what I usually purchase that from Amazon, and I get um, calcium hardness increaser, from Amazon. Uh, I'll leave those links in the description below. If you liked my content, consider subscribing and smash that like button. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. I'm just gonna run through here and scrub my pool all the way around throughout the rest of this video. Thanks again, guys.